Hey guys, what's up? It's Camera Mom Creates here, back with another quick, easy Photoshop tutorial for beginners. Now, I had already done a couple tutorials to help with thumbnails for YouTube videos, and I really like having a blurred background. I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm just gonna pull up my children's channel, and you can see as we scroll through, they have quite a few backgrounds that are blurred like here in this Monopoly one, we have blurred hearts. I just think if you give it a little bit of a blur, it makes the main image, which is obviously one of my children, or and typically a person, um, it just makes them stand out a lot more when you have a blurred background. So let's head on over to Photoshop. I already have an image in here, um, nice Yankee Stadium picture right here where my son dreams of playing one day. And you can go online and you can actually search blurred backgrounds, blurred bathroom backgrounds, blur forest background. And I found things that I've liked, but then I've sometimes gotten into a situation where I don't find what I want and I want to just blur it myself. Or, and you know, even an image that you take with your camera on your own that you may want to blur. So I found this image that I liked. So now I'm gonna show you a really, really simple way to blur that. So you wanna make sure you're clicked on your image and you wanna come up to the very top and you wanna select your filter. And you have all of these options here. I like to come down and go to blur gallery and come across and I like to do the field blur because that'll just blur everything for me. So once you hit that, this little I type thing the circle comes up and you can just drag your mouse over that and change just how that's really blurry you don't want it that blurry obviously you still want to be able to make out what the image is so I just blur it enough to do that and that looks pretty good to me and once you do that you can come up and hit OK and there it is now in previous videos I showed you how to take a background away and just have your main image and in this case would be my son's image so I have him on here let me put him back in for us so here he is and you can see he had a different background obviously I took him out of his old baseball field and put him in Yankee Stadium so I removed the background and here he is looking very crisp and sharp and bright against the blurred background and I think it really makes him stand out nicely and of course I could play with the size I can make him bigger or smaller. I can also, like I've done in previous tutorials, shown you how to um, add a glow. Like here, I'll show you real quick if I come down to the bottom and I hit this little FX button on the bottom right and it'll give me an option. I can add my outer glow, which we typically like to do, which I like how that looks right there. And there are a million other things you can do, like add a drop shadow in addition to that but you don't want to get too crazy. You want it to look sharp and clean and crisp. And I think that does the trick. I honestly think you don't even need anything with this blur and the brightness of his uniform. I actually like how that looks. And you can add text or whatever else you need. But this is you know, just one step in moving right along and creating that really nice looking thumbnail that you're looking for. If you want to experiment with the blurred background, then you know, give it a try. Let me know how um, it comes out. Let me know if this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please do comment below and please give me a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And um, thank you so much for joining me. Bye.